All right, here's a quick little video of uh, installing the MS2 project. As you can see, it's a real mess in here. Uh, I put these wheels on. Looks cool. I haven't really got a chance to dri drive it because I took it apart. But uh, there's the uh, fuel line basically coming up through a filter. Return line goes back through the stock regulator. Back through the stock return line. It's uh, reading. It's got a vacuum line hooked up to it. The vacuum line runs to the manifold. And then the supply line comes to the fuel rail. And there's a the gauge. You can see it's holding pressure. It runs um, at about 40 psi with uh, without the engine running, just the fuel pump open to atmosphere. And uh, I stuck the uh, syringe on a fuel pump regulator, and it goes up and down like one to one, which is nice. That's what it's supposed to do. And let me get in the car here and show you how I wired up the MS. It's underneath the seat. I've got a crap load of wires. Let me turn on the flashlight here. I'm going to see them coming through the old firewall there. Tons of wire coming down and then terminates here. There's your ground rail. You've got your hot rail down here. There's your hot wires. And here's all your fuses. And there's the relays. You got a main and a fuel pump relay, and there's the MS. Mega Squirt's got the stem board in it right now. And there is. I'll turn the light on again. It's too dark in here. And there is the Mega View, which is wired back to here as well. All right, I'm going to turn it on and let you guys see what it looks like. All right, I got the system powered up. Mega Squirt's uh, running off the stem board. And the power is coming from the car battery right now. And I've got, you can see all the parameters scrolling through the uh, center console on dash or in dash display. Let me get that flashlight again. So, you get the picture. Basically, it just scrolls through parameters. You can hit those buttons to change some parameters. You can lock it in. It'll flash at you when anything goes out of range. Nice little feature to have with the MS. Alright, back to the engine bay. That's the uh, Optima 34R battery. fits in there perfectly. I had to make a little aluminum bracket there against the firewall to hold it in place. That's because I didn't really have the stock bracket anymore. Um, here's some of the flying leads that I still need to connect. These are all powers and, and ground returns for all the sensors up on this corner of the car. And then these are all the flying leads from the Mega Squirt that go back. These are all signals from the sensors. So I just got to tie those in. Mount my coil over here, tie the wires to it. It's a fan controller. And my wideband oxygen sensor is wired back to the car. It's an LC1. Bought it with the Mega Squirt. And there's the uh, feed wires for the two banks of injectors. Red is uh, bank one and white is bank two. And the two returns, the green and the, and the blue. Let's go back to the Mega Squirt. And basically just got to hook it all up in here in the engine bay and uh, turn the key and it's going to drive perfectly, right? Yeah, right. See you later, guys.